items for living local provided by the Rachel Ray Show. Welcome back, we're inside our Louisiana Home Center kitchen. I'm here with Tammy and Melissa from The Wooden Spoon to tell us about their new breakfast menu they're going to start serving tomorrow at 7 a.m. We're getting the first sneak peek, so we're really excited. Ladies, thank you so much yeah. for being with us today. Hi, you're very Thanks welcome. For us. Yes, we are so excited to talk about The Wooden Spoon. You guys are rolling out your brand new breakfast menu. Mm -hmm. We're going to be able to get that tomorrow, but today you're helping us make the Monte Cristo. Yes, the Monte Cristo sandwich as you can see right here, is uh, turkey and ham and Swiss cheese, and traditionally it's a French sandwich. Okay. And um, it came over here in America about 1950s. It showed up in California, um, and then Disneyland kind of made it popular. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, down here in the South, you've probably heard of it being fried, but um, <laughs> we're going to do a little bit healthier version today, which is the French toast version. Awesome. Well, that sounds absolutely delicious. So tell us again, walk us through what we're doing um, and the ingredients that we're working All right. With. Well, what we have here is just a basic um, French toast egg mixture. It's milk, egg, and cinnamon. Okay. You can add some vanilla if you like that little vanilla touch. Um, this is a mustard that we, this is an ale mustard that we have at the shop, mm -hmm. but um, you can basically use any mustard. And this is a raspberry preserve, and then this is our or maple mayo um, or you can dip it in maple syrup. Yum! Well that sounds so good. We're going to let you get started so I'm guessing we have to make the French toast first. Is we that the do. first step? Do you want to help? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to help. <laughs> Alright, well let's put a little bit of our butter in the pan. I would love to help. That's, that looks so, so good and so delicious. <laughs> but the Monte Cristo is not the only thing on the menu, Tammy. You guys are rolling out a ton of breakfast stuff. Yes, we are. Um, we're just starting it tomorrow. Tomorrow is our first day um, that we're serving breakfast. We're going to be opening up at 7 o'clock in the morning. So we'll serve breakfast from 7 to 10. Okay. And um, we're going to be doing a California burrito, um, you know, either sausage or bacon. Um, we're going to have a caprice. Okay. Um, caprice sandwich on ciabatta bread. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have all sorts of different things. Yeah. Bacon and burrito. So, that sounds so good. And yes. then tomorrow you guys are rolling it out for the very first day at 7 a.m. You also yes. were telling me that you're going to have some coffee that people can try yes. out. Yes, local Buna Bean coffee. Yes. Um, we're going to have their coffee there and people are welcome to try samples of it. And um, so yeah, it would be a great time to, to come on out. Absolutely. Uh, before school starts and Absolutely. come in on your way to work. I know I will. That sounds so delicious. So I'm going to help you. I got wrapped up chatting over here. That is but okay. I did not forget I've got one piece you. done. So go ahead and toss that bread in the egg okay. mixture. Is it okay to do it with my hand? Yeah, it's fine. My hands fine. are clean, I promise. And then okay. throw it right in that pan. Right. We'll get that cooked up. Okay, what I like to do while that's cooking, I like to take the ham and the turkey and kind of break them up and mix them together. That way you know that every little bite's going to have both in it and you can yes. kind of beef it up a little bit on the bread. So delicious. So Tammy, tell us about, you were saying that the French toast alternative is a little healthier than doing it another way. Is that what you were saying? Instead of frying it, yes. that is a much healthier version. Yes. 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 And it looks so Just much more delicious. I love French toast in any way, but I've never had it on a Monte Cristo, so I'm really excited <laughs> to try it out today. Very good. We also want to talk about another really exciting thing, which is the wooden spoon is known for your gift baskets. So we do mm -hmm. have one right here, but we want you guys are still doing that. But you're are, you're yes. just adding a lunch menu, a breakfast menu, but you're still doing baskets for any occasion. Yes, we do. Um, we make all of our cookies there, so we've got all types of cookies. We have breads, muffins, yes. and different types of brownies that we put in the basket. So, we, of course, we sell everything individually, mm -hmm. but we're doing that. Um, we're also doing, uh, well, we have lunch. We yes. have our lunch menu that we're also, also doing. So, so what we were saying. In addition to it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and what we were saying earlier is that at the wooden spoon, you sort of just come grab, come grab your food and yeah. go. So, on your way to work, so don't get fast food. Go by the wooden spoon. You can get a mm -hmm. delicious breakfast. You can grab you some coffee and then be on your way to work yeah. and grab something a lot healthier for you. Mm -hmm. You can even grab a basket to go into work and have for your coworkers. I think that'd be a nice little treat. <laughs> Melissa, what are you doing over here? All right, well, I've put my ham and turkey on the pan so we can get it nice and warmed up and grilled. Looks so good. And then we're going to put some Swiss cheese on that and let it melt. Okay. All right, and while we've got that going on, I'm going to have you put some... I'm going to have you put some sauces on. Okay, so, on one side, we're going to want some raspberry preserve. Okay. Probably more than that. You can go ahead and load it on. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little shy with it at first, but here we go. Okay. All right, and then on the other side, we're going to do our maple mayonnaise. Okay. 
and we're going to do our, our mustard, our air mustard. Now, um, most people will say, maple mustard, what's going on there? But actually, it's the perfect combination of savory and sweet. Yeah. It's yeah. So good. Perfect. Okay. So All right. Got enough in there. Yep. So we're going to put our nice hot ham and cheese and turkey on our French toast. I think my stomach knows that food's coming and it's just getting <laughs> crazier by the second. Yes, so yummy. Okay. Alrighty. Just stack okay. it on in there. Stack it all on there. Uh huh. And go ahead and put your top on. Okay. Okay. Cut it for us. Gonna, yeah, I'm going to cut it and then we're going to give it the finisher, which is the powdered sugar. All right, so there it goes. Nice, pretty insides. Looks so delicious. And then, of course, a little powdered sugar. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm there so it excited. is. Yes, yeah. I'm so excited. So we want to invite everyone to, you can try the Monte Cristo tomorrow. And yes. you, there's a whole breakfast menu that you don't want to miss out on the at the Wooden Spoon. So tomorrow is 7 a.m. 7 a.m. You can call ahead and order your breakfast if yes. you're in a hurry. So we'll have it ready for you. Awesome. And then you'll be doing this Monday through Friday. Monday through at Friday. At 7 a.m. You guys will be opening for breakfast every yes. single, uh, fr Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. Well, Tammy and Melissa, thank you so much for having <laughs> me with us today. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Oh, she's going to dig in. Absolutely. I'm just going to dig in <laughs> if that's go okay with you guys. Right ahead. Yeah. And we're going to send it over to <laughs> Jessica Kelly for one more look at our forecast. All right. Here's look at the rest of your forecast. We'll see more um, showers and thunderstorms for the rest of um, today. You get everything will wind down tonight. We'll see the same thing occur for your Wednesday. To a lesser extent, we'll see a few isolated thunderstorms here and there. But you notice, though, as we'll see the ridge of high pressure build over the region, which will cause all the thunderstorms to work its way either towards the north of us, towards the east, or out towards the south or the west. So we'll see lots of heat into the forecast for Friday and Saturday and Sunday and also for Monday as well. So looks as if once we get past today and also into your Wednesday, we're going to see an end of the rain at least for a few days. So for tonight, those see those temperatures falling back down to the very steamy middle to upper 70s. We'll see a temperature of 77 degrees in center. Same thing in Marshall. 76 degrees in Shreveport. And see a temperature into the middle 70s also into Texarkana. And next seven days shows plenty of heat with highs into the middle to upper 90s with the hottest days by this weekend. Lows at night very steamy to the middle to upper 70s. Just make sure you're practicing heat safety over the next seven days. And again, those lows back up into the upper 70s. Fernanda? Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, ladies, again so much for being with us. This is absolutely delicious. I took a bite off camera. I'm about to have one more. I'm probably going to have the whole thing. It's <laughs> lunchtime. Thank you guys, everyone, for hanging out with us right here on Living Local. We're going to see you tomorrow. We hope you have a terrific Tuesday. And then tomorrow, go to the Wooden Spoon, get you some breakfast. It's absolutely delicious. Thank you again, ladies. Thank you. Sure. Thank you for having me.